Oh my god. This one has taken ages to get ready. Hi everyone. Yeah, I've done a lot of work to put this one together. This is my only real pink top. This is like actually the dress that Eleven wore in Stranger Things. <laughs> I bought it off the internet a while ago and um, I haven't been able to use it for anything so I thought I would pull it out on this one because it's the only kind of pink out light pink outfit that I have because everything else I have is like really dark like black because everything's dressed in black hi Erica yeah so this is the dress that Eleven wore in Stranger Things I've even got the socks actually but um that's another story um so yeah so I thought we'd just jump straight into this I've got all sorts of stuff ready I know it's taken me a while to get here but we've made it I finally have all the things and the bits and pieces as per usual I um I'm just sort of flying by the seat of my pants with a loose plan for what um, I'm doing and it's sort of based on the character how are you Erica things warming up over there it's getting cold here it's getting really cold and rainy so what do we have today today we have a little pink dress I did find my old um, sleeves from my drag queen thing so I thought maybe we'd try those later to try and 80s up the outfit I have a, a lightning bolt and um, glitter unicorn necklace which I thought was quite 80s I have made some little um, I made these last night these little things to, for earrings which I'm just going to glue on my ear which are actually just like little silver pink um, card that I've cut out synergy shapes on I cut out some little silver paper lightning bolts um, I got all my pink makeup out like all of it um, every single thing that I could find that was pink I got out of my kit I got I found these the other day which was super cute um, I don't know if we'll go with these because um, I know Jim Jim's actually supposed to be a grown-up unlike that horrendous film that somebody made a couple of years ago she's actually a full-grown woman she is not some teeny bopper I'm just saying yeah she runs a record company what teeny bopper can do that but I did find this oh my god that's a little hair clip the little colored unicorn which is super cool and then I found a little gold whale which I also thought was like really cute and I also found a little pink cupcake so I was pretty happy with that little score and then um, I've got the wig, which I've been working on for two days. It takes me ages to get ready for these things, I'll tell you now. Just drop it on the floor. Doesn't matter, it needs more um, body and volume anyway for the 80s. So I did cut heaps of hair out of the top. So to give us a bit more of a shaggy, shaggy sort of 80s do. And a bit more height in the top. So I teased all through the top section. This wig was like down past your bum so I cut a massive amount of hair off the bottom it does have a bit of an ombre underneath which I quite like now and then I just um, did a whole lot of increased layers a whole heap of front shaping um, and I can razor some more off the front um, with my trusty razor once I've got it on my head but I don't want to go too far without putting it on my head first so this is just a little um, cheapy hard front wig but I think because it's we're going to have quite a bit of volume in the top there it'll be fine but I mean, considering it was like maybe a $20 wig, but I've put like two days worth of work into it. So that's really where a lot of the expense comes in is when you actually spend time making something that's cheap and shit look half decent, right? Am I right? Yeah. So these things do not become fabulous overnight. So I did get out all my pink stuff. I've got all, I'm gonna start putting my hair up and, um, and my clips and stuff now so I'm just going to get my toupee clips out and I'm going to put a stocking cap on and then we'll launch straight into makeup hi Josh how are you lots happening down in Christchurch like for um you've been posting a lot on the Christchurch drag page lately I've seen which is really good good to see you doing your thing so I'm just gonna put like I love my toupee clips 
They're, toupee clips are quite expensive, so if you do get some toupee clips, don't lose them because they are, they're like, sometimes they're $2 a clip. I have a whole bunch which are cheaper, some really cheap um, toupee clips, which is great, and you're welcome to um, buy them off me and I can send them to you in the mail. That's totes fine. I do that all the time. Um, one short, oh, well, we'll just wing it. Um, but yeah, the toupee clips um, make such a difference when you're doing, when you're putting your wigs on. Just put one in the centre back. <coughs> stay, stay where I put you. Stocking cap. Yeah, so I was doing all this research about gem because when the gem movie came out, every, like when I first heard about it, I was so excited because I was born in 78, so... Um, Gem was like right in my demographic. Gem was like made by Hasbro, which um, are the same people that did like G.I. Joe and um, the Transformers. So they were like um, in the 80s having a lot of success selling toys and launching like a television, like an animated television show at the same time. So some of the people who worked on G.I. Joe and um, Transformers also worked on Gem and the Holograms. And um, so I got really excited when I heard they were going to do the movie. But then when the first trailer came out, me and my friends, who are also around my age, and also really loved Jem back in the day, because she was like mid to late 80s, like 85 to 89 or something like that. Anyway, we were just mortified at what they had done. They had actually, it's like they had just, three guys had got together who knew nothing about Jem, wrote a teeny bopper girly story and slapped Jim's name on it. It was horrendous. Like, yeah. Like I said, Jim was a grown ass woman. She ran a freaking, you know, a music company. Her best friend was a fashion designer. Like this movie could have been really um, good for young, like really inspirational for young women. These were strong women who were busy doing their thing and killing it and doing really well. And she ran an orphanage. Like the reason she ran Starlight Records was because she wanted to run Starlight, uh, the Starlight Orphanage. Yeah. Like they just missed the whole point. The whole point. The whole point. It was just mortifying what they did. Anyway, I did watch the first episode of Gem the other day, uh, yesterday, and um, it's quite hilarious because some of the themes throughout the um, throughout the first episode are quite dodgy. Yeah, pretty dodgy now. Like, Gem walks into Starlight Studios to try and get some money for her orphanage, and the misfits are there, and all her favourite people who worked at the orf at the Starlight Records have been fired. Um, and she's like, where's this person and where's that person? They're like, oh, sorry, they don't work here anymore. And then the current executive is like trying to get the misfits in. And without even talking to the misfits, without Gemma even saying hello to them, she's just like, what is this trash? You cannot tell me that you're going to make records with those people. Like, rude. Like, didn't even say hello. Yeah. So, judgy, judgy much Jim, or Jericho, which is her actual name. Jim was her alter ego. Um, and then the misfits, like, they enter this competition really validly. You know, someone puts on a um, competition uh, for local bands and the misfits are about to win when Jim sabotages it, sets up their own stage behind the crowd like nobody noticed what was going on. Um, and Jim and the holograms start playing for the first time and all the crowd runs away and runs over to like see Jim and the holograms they're like boo anyway Jim and that start getting interviewed meanwhile the misfits go and steal all their shit put it in the back of their van and drive off the holograms who run an orphanage by the way and drive like an a um what do you open aired Rolls Royce <laughs> run after them the misfits start throwing their music equipment out the back of their van at the Rolls Royce, which then goes off the road and, like, 
almost drives off a cliff, like precariously, like drive, like nearly drives off a cliff and kills them. Yeah, and then, and then like they get synergy to like, um, pull over her boyfriend. Boyfriend gets to pull over to rescue them and pulls them back off the cliff. So, the first episode's pretty exciting. Some pretty exciting stuff happens. I will tell you now. Oh my god. Gem and the holograms. I mean, you wouldn't get away with some of those themes now. I mean, it was violent. It was mean and <laughs> yeah, it was pretty crazy. But still, they're grown ass women, not like teeny bopper teenagers. And the, all the advertising for the movie that came out, they're all dressed in like sparkly black. Gem and the holograms was all about 80s deliciousness. Like, the, I don't know who did the costuming for it, but they completely missed the point as well. So many terrible things. Anyway, I was addicted to Gem when I was a kid. We're all doing, we're doing pretty well. I'm going to put on a really pale foundation, which is Scarlet. Where are you? Scarlet. Yeah. So super pale foundation, because Gem's like super pale. And her makeup's not actually that complicated, but I thought that we would like pump it up a little bit with a few things here and there to make it a bit more interesting. So here's classic Gem. She's basically just pink all the way up to her eyebrows, and then she's got the shape going on and a bit of black eyeliner. Bit boring. Bit boring, really. I mean, you know, we can get some glitter in there. We can get a few more things in there. A bit of shading going on inside. You know, so I did find, I didn't print out, there's a picture of a dolly, um, the gem doll, and she actually has silver around on her eyelids, um, and nice, I've got some nice uh, big lashes, I found these at the, at Daiso the other day, with nice spiky lashes instead of the nice um, big even ones, and I printed out a synopsis of the gem series as well, to uh, re-educate myself and what it's all about, and um, so there's some pretty funny stuff going on. Jerrica Benton is her name. So, oopsies. I have stuff everywhere actually at the moment. So, how is everybody? What's going on in your world? Lots of stuff happening. People doing their things. So, I'm actually going to use today, this is the double-ended uh, concealer powder brush, but I actually really like it for putting on my liquid foundation as well. So, we're going to cover a lot of surface really quickly Ugh, I need another I've lost all my u-pins u-pins are always the first thing you lose out of your kit but let's get some maquillage on this face do, 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 do. love the 80s 80s themes 80s culture 80s colorfulness yeah, the 80s were great. Oh, she's pale. Excellent. Look like I've got some weird reverse pock disease. I loves it. So yeah, Jerrica. Because the whole thing with um Jerrica, she had a like a loose boyfriend. I don't know if you'd even call him a boyfriend. Who was her boyfriend's name? Mm, I'll find it later. But her boyfriend, I can't remember, he's like, got some like weird name. Um, well, she had one later on, a, a guy called Eric from Germany. Yeah, it was pretty multicultural, Jim. Like, you know, considering the whitewashing that goes on today, Jim was pretty, um, pretty multicultural. But this boyfriend used to like make out with Jerrica and with Jim. So Jim knew that he was making out with her alter ego, even though it was her, but it wasn't her. He didn't know that. What a slut. What a himbo. So I'm not worried about, um, because this is a hard front wig, so we're not going to do any gluing down or anything like that. So I'm not worried about putting foundation um, around the edge of my face. But you're here, just... Just give me a little comment and say hello so I know that you've, you've come to visit. Give me some hearts or something. If you can hear me and see me, you're good. The mu let me know if the music's too loud. Oh, she's pale. So, that covers 
pretty good. So this liquid foundation is buildable, so you can put it on really sheer, but I put it on a little bit heavier this time. So I just wanted a little bit more coverage. I'm just going to put, because we're going to do quite a bit of eye makeup today, I'm going to do a little bit of eye primer as well. Get in there. I've, actually, I've got a dinner at 6 o'clock tonight too, so... I'm going to have to get all this off so I can go to dinner. I mean, I probably could go to dinner like this, but, you know. <laughs> you know me. Not too fast. People know what to expect from me by now. Oh, Jackie, yes! Yes, 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 yes. Jim was amazing. I love the dolls, the Jim dolls. They were like a head taller than Barbie. I just think she was such a great role model. You know? So what I need is a super, what's my palest, my palest concealer, organza, what I really need is a scarlet, a scarlet, are you there, oh hang on, scarlet, here we go, a scarlet concealer. She was really cool. The, the movie could have been amazing and they just did such a terrible job. So this is our most pale concealer. So we're going to do a good amount of highlighting today but not necessarily too much um contouring hi Mel how are ya no I'm looking a bit like some weird little little girl going on at the moment but we're gonna 80s these, this up a little bit later on down the track so I love this concealer it's just really 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 creamy A good thing to remember with things like this, if you're going out, if you're wearing heavy makeup and you're going out, you really need to use a setting spray. It makes such a difference. Right. I think we're looking decidedly washed out. Yeah, I was looking on online at like a whole lot of other... Um, Gym makeovers and stuff like that. Some of them were pretty good, some of them were horrendous, obviously. But most of them just didn't, the wig, the wig, the wig, the wig just didn't quite get there for me. Um, so let's set that with some setting powder, lots of setting powder. And then we'll have a look at what colours we've got. What colours we've got to put on, because... It's very easy to go, you know, you've, you've got blue pinks and you've got um, red pinks as well. I, know, I look a bit ghostly at the moment, but I'm just going to slap like heaps of powder on to set that. So I have a really good powdered base. So I know that's not going anywhere. This translucent powder is amazing as well. It's my favourite powder. I use this for work as well, actually, this powder. In my kit. My friend did lend me a, a pink, like, shiny pink 80s um, jacket with... Um, with like shoulder pads and stuff but I I couldn't fit it she's like half my size I thought I could just wear it as like an open jacket no I think I've put on a bit of weight since my surgery which is understandable I need to get back into my exercise right let's just put a little bit of color back in this face before we do anything because there's I just feel like there's nothing worse than looking like you've got like you're really sick so i found this little baby pink which i thought was a pretty good pink color we also have mm, not you um 
where is our really pink? Always the last one you pick up, right? The last box that you pick up. But I thought we would use one of them for um, eyeshadow and one of the pinks for blusher. Blusher? Eyeshadow. I think that's what we're going to do. I've got a little bit of a pink highlighter. This is like a baby pink highlight, which I thought was quite cute. Um, what else do we have? In palette number five, we have... Whoop, palette number five we have, which is the, the rainbow palette. So this is like a real silver, which I love. But we've also got two pinks here. One of them, this one here is probably a little bit too or on the orangey side. So we'll probably stick with this pink here for a little bit of contouring and stuff. Maybe even a little bit of purple. We also have... I quite like this as well, this is shrewd, this is a deep deep purple which I thought we would use under, like around the, um, we were going to do eyeliner. we also got the Moonstruck palette, this is a bit on the purple side but this pink here is amazing and I think you can still get this palette for a limited time, um, it's the beloved palette, it usually just comes out in February and just goes until they sell out, so um, we're really lucky that some of these are still around. Also, this, is, this was a limited edition one that you can't get anymore but this silver eyeshadow is like amazing like it just reminds me of like astronaut suits and stuff like that <laughs> so that's kind of the world we're going with we have sort of a unicorn lip gloss i've got a pink glittery lip gloss um i need to find the um pale pink um the pale pink lips opulence lipstick um i did notice in the cartoon that they all wear the same colored pink eyeshadow when they're not um, being Jim and the Holograms, when they're being their normal people who live at the orphanage, um, they all have the same pink eyeshadow. Even the dark-skinned lady has the same pink eyeshadow as the rest of them. <laughs> Hilarious. So, let's give ourselves... So, in the 80s, they wore their um, blusher pretty high up on their cheeks. So, I just want to get some colour going back in this place. I just um, got uh, the weathers turned a little bit here. So I just got my cat's electric blanket out again and um, hopefully he will be happy because he's been sleeping in some really weird places around the house. You know, like under, like I have an open wardrobe with all my dresses and stuff hanging and he's been going in under there and sleeping underneath like all the dresses. It's really weird, like making a little cave for himself. You little weirdo. 80s amazingness. Moving along, moving along. I will fuss forever if you let me. So that's why I always say moving on, moving on. Because otherwise I will just keep fussing with something and fuss with it and fuss with it. But you can always come back and fix things later. But I feel like I just wanted to get a little bit of colour in the face before we do anything else. And I'm going to take my... Um, my bronzer brush but I'm not going to put anything on it I'm just going to use whatever's left on the brush to just give me a slight little bit of colour under that cheekbone but not too much just a hint my giant forehead I'm probably not going to see that under the wig anyway but just wanted to give my face a little bit more dimension Amaze. I've had like, since I came out of hospital, I've had really, really dry lips, but I've had tr um, trouble getting them to come back. Um, yeah, they've been peeling for days. And do you know what I found actually was, um, I found a really old tube of, does anyone remember that Elizabeth Arden 8 hour frame? I found a really old tube of that, and um, that did wonders. I put that on for like two nights in a row, like liberally. Honestly, it looked like my lips were like dripping and um, slept with that on my lips overnight and it was fantastic. Yeah, it did really well. I'm not going to be able to find it. It's going to be the last lipstick that I open. It's going to be the Opulence lipstick, isn't it? It's going to be the last one. No, that's not the one I want either. Oh well, I'll find it. I just feel like I need something on my lips because they are... 
really, really dry. Ah! I will find one later. Little pink gloss, that will do. Right, I have also haven't decided whether to do pink eyebrows or do brown eyebrows. I know Jim has brown eyebrows. Maybe we should stick with Jim. But we're going to do like really thin 80s ones. So I'm just going to keep mine as thin as possible as well. But let's get some pink on here, eh? So if we're going to cover quite a bit of ground, we do need a good base though, remember people. So what I did do was get out the Mineral Touch um, Press Powder Foundation. This stuff's really good for um, concealing under the eyes. I'll show you. It's like magic. It's like magic, magic, magic. Let's get us a little angle puff brush. Where are you? My favorite little brush. Hmm, you've gone walkabout. No, he's gone walkabout. So let's just use you, this guy. He's like a big puff brush. So yeah, you can see like my little um, under eye bags there. So I'm just going to push this in, this powder in, right up into my socket there. And it just helps to really blur those little fine lines and stuff that I have. I just want a really good base on my eyes before we put all this so what happens is, after a couple of minutes, your skin warms this powder up and it starts to just melt into the skin. Can you see the difference there? That that's just made? This stuff is great. The other thing that's really good with this stuff is um, if you use a setting spray afterwards. The setting spray, like use the setting spray really liberally and it just melts into the powder and just really makes it super smooth and stops it from moving through, through the day and settling in your creases and things. Setting spray is really important if you're going to use um, pressed powder under your eyes. makes it look heaps better okay moving on so what we want to do is we want to get quite a bit of color on but we want to build it up slowly so I think I'm gonna use like quite a loose um, this brush doesn't have that many bristles in it so it's gonna give us a light coverage but we're gonna be able to cover um, quite a bit of ground quite fast so it's like a, um, it's not very packed, cone-shaped, uh, natural bristled brush. So we are going to go in with our blusher, which is called Stunning. This bright pink here, we're just going to cover a whole lot of brown. Oopsies. Oops, I'm dropping things all over the place. I've got a going away dinner for um, a good friend tonight. She's moving to England. I'm really happy for her, but sad at the same time. It's quite a good colour, that one. Should we learn something more about Jerrica? Gemma and the holograms. Let's have a look. Jerrica Benton is the owner and manager of Starlight Music. And as Gem, lead singer of the rock group Gemma and the Holograms, Jerrica adopts the persona of Gem with the help of a holographic computer known as Synergy, which was built by Jerrica's father to be the ultimate audio-visual entertainment synthesizer. That's a bit of a um, bit of a mouthful, isn't it? Yeah, so her father died and left her the orphanage and Starlight Records, and he was like this super genius computer guy who was um, building like a realistic holographic uh, audio-visual entertainment center that had synergy 
um, as its command module, basically. Like, who can make that shit up these days? That is just cray cray. It's a bit like Alexia, but with a hologram. Or whatever that little box thing is that everyone makes, tells to make music. Ah, oh, cool! Hi, Ellie! <laughs> swimmy, swim, swim, swim. So, I think we need to make this, this like, gem shape now. Where's my picture? Here's Jim. She's sort of looking up a little bit, so I'm going to take it out, and I want to make sure that this line here is a really good line. So I did get out a little um, pink pen, but I seem to have lost it. So let's just sketch it in with eyeshadow. Yeah, never mind. Oh no, we can sketch it in with... So. I wish I had a synergy in my life. So I want to go there. So this kind of scoops down. And then this, you want to make it kind of complementary to your own face shape. And then this here, scoops up but in. I just have to get the other side exactly the same. <laughs> okay, fill that in. Right, now to get the other side the same. Should have done a stencil or something, eh? So, this side curves down and out. This side goes straight down. And this. Checking, checking. Let's fill that in and have a look. Right. So actual makeup is like rather boring it is literally just this pink pink shape a pink shape and some black eyeliner but we're not going to do that we're going to add some pizzazz who is the leader of the misfits those guys were awesome i equally actually liked the holograms and the misfits i must say the misfits had some pretty cool outfits until like later in the series i can't remember what season it was the, the misfits added this other chick who had black hair she was really mean I didn't like her as much yeah not so much 
so what I do want to do is bring in a little bit more dimension into this so I'm going to take a little cone brush and I'm going to do a contour with the pink called Victorious from palette number five which is sort of our fun palette really and just start building up some and put some kind of contour shape back in but still staying with the pink and of course we're going to get around to using some glitter as well aren't we I mean it's the 80s what is makeup without glitter if you're in the 80s Jim could have a really good resurgence you know I mean she's so much more sort of colorful and strong world and got such a great backstory and such a good role model for little girls Okay, so I'm going in with Fearless, which is the purple. I'm going to get right in that contour. This is actually an amazing little brush. This is called the Fluffy Crease Brush. So there's the normal crease brush, and then there's the fluffy brush, which is a little bit longer. I'll show you them side by side. So this is the crease brush here, this little one. And then on the top is the fluffy crease brush. See how much bigger that is? And also, if you look at the fluffy crease brush like straight on, which is really hard to describe, but it is slightly thinner one way than it is the other way. So when it goes into your contour, it just slips right in there and makes it really easy to blend your contour out. Yeah, it's a really handy little brush. Ah, oh, thanks, Janine. Yeah, I'm getting there. I'm still a little bit still got um I'm only three weeks in it's supposed to be like a three to six week recovery but I think I'm doing really well yeah I think it, I've, it's good that I've got like I'm but you know still fairly young and I did a running program before um my surgery so I got like a little bit of fit, uh, fitness up before I went into the surgery I think that really helped I mean, let's face it, it's not very strenuous what I'm doing here, is it? <laughs> Playing with makeup. Ooh, dimension. So, let's get a bit of depth back into that. Is anyone else addicted to watching drag queens do their makeup? I find it, it's really addictive. I just go down this like YouTube rabbit hole of watching like drag queens do their makeup. Right now, so when I saw the little um, dolly that, that they had, she had on like silver on her eyelids and then her black eyeliner and some glitter and things like that as well. So I thought I would just change this up a little bit, do a silver lid, white highlight, white highlight up here, and then maybe do some glitter and things around the edge of this shape here as well. So you know me, doing my own thing, winging it as you per usual. Well, I usually have a kind of a plan, you know, I get everything out, everything that I think I'm going to want to use, I make sure I've got the things and the stuff, and then the wig goes on last, because the wig is like this spectacular bit. Fluff, fluff. 
I really want to get that glitter, the glitter cream like applicator stuff that you get from the, is it NYX Cosmetics? They have the glitter cream that you can stick any glitter to. I've been meaning to get that for ages. So I also have a white highlighter here. This is the iridescent um, luminizer, powder luminizer. It is just... It's so reflective, it's not funny. So this is our lightest, bright, 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 white luminizing reflector. So I'm going to use my little crease brush. And I'm going to pop these little corners here. And up into here a little bit. Because they liked their white highlighter in the 80s as well. Who's that? Wayne! Hi, Wayne! How are you? So I'm going to use this also as my little, my top highlight up here. So I've done a very, very left, like the smallest space possible for a little brow highlight. Jam! Truly, truly, truly outrageous! You know, when you got Jim, the, your Jim doll back in the day, you got like a cassette tape, I think you even got like a spare wig where you could like change Jim from Jerrica into Jim from Jim and the Holograms by hiding her blonde hair up under the pink wig or something like that. And she was taller than Barbie. They were bigger than Barbies. Um, and the cassette tape, which I just listened to on repeat. I think it only had like three songs on it and it probably drove my parents absolutely nuts. Oh, good Wayne. I miss you. I must come and hang out with you again soon. Yeah, probably drove my parents absolutely nuts. <laughs> Playing the same three songs over and over again, as kids do. And I think you got a poster as well. Honestly, Barbie didn't have anything on Jim. Jim was killing it. She was a maze. Right, we need to start putting some more like definition into this. Definition. So what I want is here's my like little eyebrow brow artist brush. It's got like a little angle one on one end, a little flat one on the other end. I think we we'll use the angle one. I'm going to use the Behold Setting Spray. I'm just going to spray some on the mirror here and mix up like a little purple, a little purple outline. There's always that stage halfway through makeup where you think it's going to look really shit. And then it's because you haven't done all your definition stuff yet. side looks much better <laughs> nice Amazing. Now I need to put you somewhere you got to drip everywhere. 80s. I love it. I think this is going to be 
We were supposed to do a superhero makeup this week. I think this is going to be my superhero makeup too. Because Jim, in my mind, was a superhero. I mean, she ran an orphanage, for God's sake, as well as running a, um, as well as running Starlight Records. Uh, and I don't know how old she was when her parents died and left her all that responsibility, but she kicked ass. She was amazing. Just saying. So let's get some eyebrows on. I think I'm going to do brown ones because I do want some definition here. So what I want to do first is always, always, always brush my eyebrows. Hey, who? Hello. I'm glad I pop up on your feed sometimes. I've been, I've spent ages like getting this one ready. I even did some hairdressing hill. Look, I'll show you the wig. Look, I did, I cut, this wig was like down past your bum and I cut it off and I did like a um, straight cut and then I did some increased layers and then I went through the, did some front shaping and then I went through and did some razoring through the top to give it um, lots more lift and then I did some teasing. So I've made the wig like really nice 80s, 80s rock star amazingness. I love it. It's going to look so good. Yeah. And I do apologize for my weird girly little pink top, but it is the only thing that I had that was pink in my wardrobe that was resembled anything pink. Because I do not have a large amount of pink in my wardrobe. No, I do not. <laughs> oh, thanks, Hill. <laughs> we did um, our four weeks of hairdressing with um, Ellie Rutherford, who I think is still watching. So for four weeks we went out to Ellie's house and she taught us um, hairdressing for um, a morning, a Tuesday morning. Just taught us some really basic cutting skills. It was, it's really great. It's been so helpful. She was such a good teacher. And now I can just, um, what I really wanted it for was so that I could cut my wigs myself before I roller set them. Yeah, without completely ruining them. Yeah. It was really cool to do. It's like a little four week course. And me and my friend Michelle and Sanchia and Renee all did it. And we all learnt so much. And Ali used to be an actual hairdressing teacher. Um, so she's really good at teaching. I know, because what happens, guys, for those of you who aren't hairdressers, is that if you do a straight cut on a wig and then you roller set it, the curls sort of come out in this like weird kind of triangle. So what you need to be able to do is do what's called increased layers, which is like cutting layers into that hair properly without fucking it up. And then your curls sit on top of each other and they look really nice. So that's what I wanted to learn, so that I could do all that cutting myself instead of having to pay someone else to do it for me. And... um. It's been super helpful. So I just need to keep practicing. I mean, I've got like 200 wigs to practice on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm just doing my eyebrows just a little bit thinner than I would usually do them. Because she had the nice 80s, 80s brow going on. Thin, thin fashionable 80s brow I did have someone email me the other day asking if I made eyebrow wigs um, which I thought was quite hilarious but unfortunately they do cost a bit of money so I mean you can wear them more than once but it was for a production and they didn't really have the budget for it she didn't really know what to do, so I told her to just um, cut some out of some black, like, card. And she was doing a Cleopatra, and I was like, it's on stage, so the nearest person's going to be, what, 30 feet away from them or something. I was like, just cut some eyebrows out of black card and glue them on her face. No one will know. <laughs> and they'll look beautiful. They'll look absolutely perfect every single time. Yeah, because you don't have time for all that when you're doing like theatre makeup and stuff. I, you either have to suck it up, drink a cup of concrete, harden up, 
and just paint them on really fast or stick them on. And I was like, dude, you either need a stencil or you need to cut them out of card and just stick them on. Off you go. She was like, oh my God, I never even thought of that. Yeah, works a treat. I had to make a guy up as, um, <laughs> I had a, yes, looks super good, yes, I had to make a guy up as a um, multiple woman, he was, we were doing a montage of him dressed up as men, a whole bunch of men, and then a whole bunch of women for a music video, and um, I blocked his eyebrows out, we did all the women on one day, and all the men on another day, and I blocked his eyebrows out so I could do the women, and we had drawn them in, you know, quite thinly, and then I, they wanted to do Amy Winehouse halfway through the day. And I was like, if I draw Amy Winehouse eyebrows on this guy, they are going to be stuck there for the rest of the day. They're going to have giant eyebrows for the rest of the day. And a lot of the other characters that were coming up didn't require big eyebrows. And they were like, oh, well, we really want to do Amy Winehouse. And, blah, blah, blah. and I was like, okay, give me five minutes. So I just sat there. I found a piece of a box or something like that was shiny black like some kind of speaker or something had come in it and I just cut these eyebrows out of it and stuck them on his face and sent him out the door and they were like oh it's fantastic and so when they'd done that little set I just unglued them and had his other eyebrows underneath amazing yeah it was real cool it worked really well I was surprised sometimes you just go to wing it people wing it That was a really fun music video actually. By the time it was like two in the morning and we were still doing it, me and the costume lady had kind of lost our shit, lost the plot, in a kind of crazy happy kind of way. And we were just making him up as all kinds of crazy. It was, it was quite mad. Yeah, 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 yeah. Got another pink here, which I might try. Going to, cause I want to blend this in a little bit more. Oh, that's a good pink. Oh, damn those clients, Cynthia. That's all right. You can watch back later and just fast forward. Damn those clients. I've got really watery eyes today. Where has that, oh, I'll put it up here. I'm sort of just bouncing around all over the place now. You know how I roll people by now. Okay. Okay, I've got some wig glue. Need an old brush. I'm gonna get some glitter. Do I want to use silver glitter? Or do I want to use oh everything's stuck together now. Get some pink ones for later. What do I want to use my crazy, like this stuff's actually really cool. They're like, it's like rainbow shards. I think I might use that one because I think the silver glitter might be a little bit too strong. I need something a bit more subtle. <laughs> want you to do Effie Trinket one day, please. I will Google that after this is over. <laughs> I want to do her too. Okay, so... Obviously, if you are working on clients, people, never ever lick your finger and then stick your finger on their face. <laughs> but it's just me, so I don't really care. It's my own spit.
Oh, the glue is fumey. It's all right. It's all right. You can handle it. You're tough. <laughs> okay. I love this glitter. It's amazing. Super cute. And I love it because it just blurred that front edge a little bit. Where should we put more glitter? Where can we put more glitter, people? I'll put more glitter everywhere. Where's my other glitter? In my box of amazingness, where I've put... I got all my glitters out the other day. I was like, surely I won't need all the glitters, but a few of them... A few of the glitters would be good. This glitter would look really good in my wig as well, actually. I love good 80s synth, right? I really like, um... What are they called? Daft Punk. Daft Punk's amazing. There we go. Everywhere. Glitter everywhere. Put the lid on the glue, Fiona, before it goes everywhere. Quickly. Alright, we need some definition now. So we need black eyeliner. Do, 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 do. Uh, apparently season three of Stranger Things is coming out soon. I cannot wait. <laughs> I'm always getting chemicals in my eyes. You know, like when you work on a job for ages, when you're doing using lots of alcohol, like 99% alcohol for cleaning wigs and things like that, often by the end of the job, you can't even smell it. Like you're just so used to it that you just can't. To be able to tell if it's like um, chemicals or not, you have to stick your nose like right into it. I mean, the amount of times on The Hobbit we were cleaning like a hundred, two hundred dwarf dwarf beards and wigs which are so gross by the way that like when stunties have been sweating in massive beards and wigs all day it is like one of the foulest things you have to actually just switch your mind off so you can cope with it it is so gross anyway we even found like half a potato in a beard once that's right one of the stunties had been eating lunch lost half a potato in his beard in his dwarf beard his stick on dwarf beard and he and 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 it didn't come out till the end of the day when we were cleaning like a potato. A potato! There was all sorts of stuff we were finding there. Chips and peas and carrots and all sorts of things. So gross. Yuck. Ugh. But when you have like, you know, 20 people or something all cleaning beards because you can't go home until they're clean or everything's clean at the end of the night. So that's 20 people working with alcohol in an enclosed area that doesn't have too much ventilation I mean it can get pretty woofy snack for later <laughs> yes I wouldn't put it past them those are growing lads some of those stunties uh, uh, hang on computer sometimes it asks me if I'm still listening Still watching. Yes, I'm still watching, you bastard. Right, I need to do my inner water run.
Glitter! Right. So. Yeah, it's good to shake these dip and draw, um, there's these dip and draw eyeliners, liquid eyeliners. It's good to give them a good shake before you go into them. Just to make sure the colour is really, if they've been sitting for a while, they can sort of separate a tiny bit. So just make sure you give them a really good shake. Alcoholics, yes. Outwards. Outwards. Yesterday, actually, but I got to like the stunties grow hours. <laughs> growing lads, especially if they keep eating all those potatoes. Yeah, I meant to do this yesterday, and then I got to like four o'clock or something, or five o'clock, and this just wave of tiredness just hit me. Oh, I just couldn't get myself together. It just happens to the best of us. that um liner to be darker on my bottom edge so what i'm going to do is find a black eyeshadow oh no i find my black cream oh this one's got a bit of sparkle in it this one this is called skeptical it's a cream eyeshadow it's got a little bit of glitter in it which makes it real yummy they do have another one called Magnificent, I think, which is um, a matte black, which is also really good for um, doing eyeliners and things as well. Better. Most importantly, you can make sure that your site gets found online. Alright. Sometimes I impress myself. Stupid adverts. Go to Wix.com. Create your stunning website today. Nice, much better, much more impact. Do we need to do the brows darker? No, do we? I might give myself a bit more of a point though. A bit more of a point. Is this? Oh no, that's a medium. I want the dark one. 
do 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 she says having lost everything put everything down oh ads you should be asleep but i need to say the whole look oh hell it'll be here in the morning you silly sausage you must be exhausted okay that's giving me that's good it's giving me a prompt to get this done faster because i do have a dinner that i need to go to which means i have to do photos and clean all this off that's fine did have this pink lipstick which i quite like Plus, so these are little hotties. These are like a lip plumping lipsticks. To dinner, we're going to the botanist. Uh, it's a ve vegetarian restaurant. I don't know if they'll be happy with my non biodegradable glitter that I've got all over my face. Now, okay, these are my favourite things for putting uh, lashes on. Do, do, do. So these are nice little cheap spiky ones that I got at the um, at Daiso yesterday. Daiso, where you can get one thing for. I think it's like oh, all my scissors are out in the in the lounge. You can get one thing for three fifty or three things for ten dollars, which adds up very quickly when you want to buy everything that's in the store. So I, these are brand new um, lashes, and because they're cheap, they're really um, stiff. So what I do is I just grab them and I roll them back and forth in between my fingers to make them a bit more pliable before I put them on because often they're not curved enough please remind me to take my glue off my hand before I pick up my oh um the um Daiso's in uh, Manor's Mall I went um we went walking with a friend and her daughter wanted to go to it's like the Japan shop but bigger and there's ones all over, like the one in Sydney is divine I absolutely love it it's like the two dollar shop but on steroids and everything japanese it's so cute <sighs> she had a green piece <laughs> yeah 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 i will go get one day when i'm rich i'll be able to afford all the biodegradable glitter in the world one day but that day is not today but i do like this this like glitter here which is like um sort of a greeny silver it's like one of my go-to glitters. It's really good. All right, this is not my favorite glue either, but we're going to try and get this on my eyeball. One of, uh, yes, so I don't know if the one in Wellington's been there for very long. It, the, the Japan shop used to be up um, Cuba Street, but it moved. And when you used to get your receipt for the um, Japan shop, it used to say Daiso on it. But that one's closed down now, and now an actual Daiso has opened up on Manor Street. Okay, they are really stiff. They are not the easiest to get on, I must say. These little cheapy My favourite lashes are like the Minx 3D ones. And I probably could have done better if I 
not too bad but i probably could have done better if i had actually chopped off the little ends the little spiky ends that are on them We're nearly there. What's the time? I wonder what I wonder what the time is. So yeah, so I just grab the lash. Where are you? Grab the lash like this. And I grab little bits of it and I just roll it back and forth between my fingers. And then move down a little bit and roll it. Move down a little bit. Just for these ones, these like really cheap ones, it just really makes them much more flexible when they go on your actual eyeball and see because now it's like heaps more curved than it was when it was in the little packet and just make sure your little ends sometimes your little ends over curve so you just need to push them out a little bit there's a couple of little tricks there depending on what kind of lashes you've got and dropping your lash down onto onto the top of your lashes not trying to go straight in yeah that's a really handy tip as well often people try to go straight in with their lashes and that's where they get into trouble i needed it i needed to borrow your microphone wayne your little your pink your pink bluetooth microphone for my photo shoot Woo! Heaps of time, Erica. Heaps of time. Right. Right, let's get this lash on and then we'll get this wig on. And then we'll reassess. And see if we need some diamantes or some glitter. What else do we need? I think we could definitely use some diamantes. Right? Here's some I prepared earlier. I basically have like a children's dress up box of stuff now where I have like my cowboy outfits and my wings and what else do i have in there guns and knives and pirate stuff and all sorts for my dress ups now which is hilarious because i'm a grown woman oh, oh you didn't want to stick did you oh come on Fussing, fussing, fussing. It's all in the way you hold your tongue. Okay. Do oh, I did it? without taking the glue off my hand every time ah it's not too bad it could have been worse I always forget to do that because I'm getting up in a rush get bloody glue black black eyelash glue all over my nice wigs
Oh, I look like a powder puff girl. Jim! Truly, truly, truly outrageous. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Volume, please. More. Truly, truly, truly outrageous. I look like some weird like combination of like Dolly Parton like Dolly Parton slash um, powder puff girl So I'm just razoring off to frame my face. You need to go that way, little garlic, little curl. Do you know what? I think we're going to put my sleeves on. My big sleeves. I think we need them. I need like a, um, like a full glitter spray as well, don't I? Like silver. I need like... Glitter cannon really would, is really what I need. But I quite like this one because look, it's got like a, a pink ombre like underneath. It's got like a darker pink, which makes it all the layers look really cool. Should we try my sleeves? Future country, yes! Should I wear it to dinner? <laughs> want to really bring the 80s in these are two little five-year-old girl ballet skirts that I just like bound together bring that up there bring that up there oh I love it anyway I could be Jim I could own a record company couldn't I oh who needs shoulder pads when you have pink tutus that you can wear? He loves it. Amazing. Look, I take up the whole camera. I love it. So, we have put on more glitter. See, it's amazing how much the wig makes a difference, right? When you've got the right wig, when you put a little bit of effort into it, and your wig doesn't look like a limp some kind of limp fur animal that you've just shoved on your head at the last minute but you've actually put work into it people work those wigs they can actually look amazing this was like 20 bucks but probably four hours of work I love this little ombre as well that's going on it gives it a bit of dimension anyway Dolly Parton slash powder puff girl slash gem in the holograms I need an electric guitar now. I need to be like playing an electric guitar. Could like win like an air, air guitar competition? That would be amazing. Totally amazing. I could probably go to dinner like this. I don't know. I can't just know. <laughs> I probably just take half the makeup off and leave half the makeup on. But I am looking forward to photographing this and um getting my my like shoulders in there i look also do you know what i just reminded myself of also is like some kind of weird future dynasty like because the big hair i could have been like joan collins like 
future futuristic daughter like maybe Joan Collins great great granddaughter <laughs> but I really like it I like how the glitter like we did the glitter on the front edge and I like how we made my eyelids silver and a purple contour instead of just doing a you know just a straight flat pink shape I think it worked really well and then very small little highlight up here so most of these products you can get from my website. So if anyone's interested in any of like foundations or concealers or eyeshadows or anything like that, totally let me know and I'll hook you up. I can help you out, make things super easy for you. Yeah, but I think this has been a really good makeover. I think we can call this one a success. Don't you? I think we've done quite well, quite well. So now we have to think up the next one, the next makeover. And I do take suggestions. Thank you, Hillcook, for making a suggestion. Just throw on a black shirt and you're good to go. Yeah, maybe I will go as a pink goth. I do have um, like blonde and blue hair at the moment, my own self. So I don't know. The only thing is like, yes, you do have to go to bed, Hill Cook. Have sweet dreams. Count some sheep. You'll be fine. Okay. <laughs> um, yes, go to bed. You hard working lady. You need your, you need your sleep. But yes, I have blue and blonde hair at the moment under, underneath this. I'm not sure that pink makeup will go with it. Because wigs, if we're realistic, wigs get really hot. Or it takes you like about half an hour to like regulate your body heat once you've got the wig on. You know? But yes, it's a lot. It's a lot to be wearing to a organic vegetarian restaurant. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. Well, we might just calm it down a little bit, but um, but we'll see how we go. But it's photo photo time. So yes, I'll take some photos and I'll post them up. And um, but I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks so much for joining me today. Thanks so much for watching. And if anyone needs any um makeup or anything like that or skincare or anything like that, totally. Um, if you've got any questions, just message me and I'll totally help you out. I'm happy to help. Yeah, but. Have a good evening wherever you are in the world. I love you all. Signing off from Jim slash Powder Puff slash Dolly Parton. <laughs>